The Large Hadron Collider, or LHC, is the most powerful particle accelerator ever built and the world's largest, most complex machine. Since 2018, it's been shut down for a planned major upgrade. This year, it's being restarted. And the big question is, what will it find? The LHC occupies a tunnel 27 kilometers in circumference and as deep as 175 meters beneath the Swiss-French border near Geneva. It began operation in 2010 and has already achieved several major breakthroughs including the discovery of the Higgs boson along with 59 types of hadron, probing a state known as quark-gluon plasma, the most energetic form of matter outside of a black hole, and finding preliminary evidence of physics beyond the standard model. The LHC smashes together beams of trillions of protons resulting in up to 600 million collisions per second at temperatures equivalent to 100,000 times that at the center of the Sun. The protons reach speeds of 99.9999991% of the speed of light and travel around the 27 kilometer long accelerator ring more than 11,000 times every second. The total energy of the beams at full power is about the same as a 400-ton train moving at 150 kilometers per hour. Each individual proton has about the same kinetic energy as a flying mosquito. That may not sound much until you remember that a proton is less than a ten trillionth of a centimeter across. Getting particles that small to collide head-on is equivalent to firing together two needles that start ten kilometers apart with such accuracy that they meet point to point halfway. The LHC has four places around its ring where proton beams can be collided and at these crossing points are positioned a total of seven detectors each designed for a specific kind of research. The LHC cost about five billion dollars to build, less than a tenth the cost of the International Space Station. The annual budget of CERN, the European organization that runs the LHC, is about $1 billion, or about the cost of an espresso for everyone in Europe, not much to pay for finding out more about the fundamental laws of the universe. And for those who object to an expensive project that may appear to have no practical benefits, it's worth remembering the response of Bob Wilson, founder of the Fermi National Accelerator Laboratory, to a question asked by an American politician. What will your lab contribute to the defense of the US? His reply, nothing, but it will make it worth defending. In fact, building large accelerators does have many practical spin-offs because it pushes several technologies to their limits and so leads to innovations in areas such as superconductors, vacuum technology, computing and electronics, which ultimately benefit our daily lives. Since it opened for scientific business in 2010, the LHC has had two major periods of operation, followed by two long shutdowns for maintenance and upgrades. The latest shutdown, LS2, began at the end of 2018. Its main purpose is to boost the luminosity of the beams so that more proton collisions are available for experiments. This in turn will provide more data and increase the chances of making new discoveries. If all goes to plan, the LHC will restart in September 2021 and run through to the end of 2024. There'll then be a further pause before the accelerator is fired up again to operate in what's called high luminosity mode at the start of 2028. In this mode, the beam intensity will be 10 times higher than what it was in 2017. This will mean, for example, that the high luminosity LHC will produce at least 15 million Higgs bosons per year, compared to around 3 million from the LHC in 2017. Physicists are keen to have the LHC back in action to collect more data that may help them see what lies beyond the standard model, the best current description we have of the zoo of fundamental particles and their interactions. Already, there are tantalizing hints from an experiment called the LHCb, which measures the way particles called beauty quarks decay into electrons and muons. Instead of these decays producing equal numbers of electrons and muons as the standard model predicts they should, they seem to give rise to an excess of electrons. 
If the results are confirmed, they'll point to the existence of a new physical process which may involve previously unknown fundamental particles or interactions. Particle physicists are now entering uncharted territory. The discovery of the Higgs boson, although a key scientific breakthrough, was anticipated. But the only thing we know for sure about what lies beyond the standard model is that there has to be something beyond the standard model. We can't currently explain what happened to all the antimatter that must have been created in the Big Bang. We don't know what makes up 95% of all the mass and energy in the universe. In the years ahead, the Large Hadron Collider will provide further clues to solving these problems by working with particle energies and luminosities not previously available on Earth.